Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. <clears throat> Today is Friday. It is the 5th of November, 2021. Ah, 43 degrees, a little chilly. We're going to walk out here and go see the girls, the babies. Uh, so... First of all, before we jump into this video, I will be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. And I would ask you all to please join me. We'll have a good conversation. Uh, you can see that we have gotten overcast up through here. A lot of the leaves are already down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it happens. So... We're going to go out here and see the chickity chickity chickadees. What's going on, girls? Hello, ladies. There they are. So, now like you see this one here, the white one in the front with all the new feathers. You can kind of see the different feathers. That's what I was talking about with molting. Uh, all these new feathers are coming in, and so um, Thick Neck, you can see her, she's right there. All her feathers are now coming in as well, so uh, they're getting all their new feathers in, getting ready for winter, and uh, so that is what they are in the process of doing. So they're preparing, and there's Goliath, because he is the man, he is the boss, and there's Foghorn Leghorn in the background. <laughs> So, we got Oil Slick is here, and then uh, obviously we have Thick Neck over here. Uh, I don't know where Red must be inside. I think Red must be inside. But, uh, so, no, there's, uh, is that Red? Yeah, I think that's Red over here. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. So... No, that's not red. That's not red. So anyway, they're in and out doing their things. So chickens are good though. Now you see that one over there all by her lonesome? You can kind of start seeing her feathers coming in as well. Um, she is a mean, mean chicken. She's one of my older girls, one of my older um, reds like these guys here. The, the, the two right here in front. Those are the newest... Um, reds that I got but she she's on I think she unfortunately I believe she might be on her last legs uh, again older hen and she's just mean she's very very mean so but that happens but the other ones are all doing well and uh, everybody's doing their thing <laughs> so but okay so enough with the chickens <laughs> Sorry, I get easily distracted. I like my birds. They're good birds. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about the topic that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I received some information, and it comes from a very reliable source, so it's not uh, hearsay. It's coming from a very reliable source. Uh, there is a situation where a lot of the doctors are getting calls from pharmaceutical companies and they are saying that they're having a hard time getting generic and name brand uh, medication. Now as you probably know or don't know the majority of our medication is made either in India or in China. So uh, the other thing that I think probably a lot of you don't know Americans between the ages of 40 and 70, 70, what, I think it was 71, the majority of Americans between the ages of 40 and 71 are, and it's 70%, which is definitely the majority, are on at least one prescription medication, at least one. Now I want you to think about that. So all of these people you see out there wandering the streets, the majority of them are on some kind of a medication. Um, I can honestly say to you, um, I am one of the ones that is not. Uh, I take no prescription medication. 
Uh, the last time that I actually went to the doctors and they were like, you know, okay, you need to fill out, uh, you know, you need to fill out uh, your, your, any kind of medications that you're on and stuff like that. And I looked at the girl and said, well, that'll be easy. I said, I'm not on any. And I don't even know how, God, maybe two, maybe three years ago it was. I think it was, was the last time I went to a doctor. Um, and she was like, well, how old are you? And I told her, and she's like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're not on anything. Uh, I don't take anything. Uh, not a big believer in that type of thing. And uh, I believe, you know, and it's funny because um, any of you that watch the channel know um, I'm a very severe chocolate-holic. Uh, I love my sweets, so, you know, that is uh, my weakness. I love my sweets, and, but, uh, I figure I, I take pretty good care of myself and, uh, you know, do those type of things, so I think that makes a difference. I really do. Oh, look at We have a, a chipmunk taking a nap right there. <laughs> okay, well, maybe he's not taking a nap. <laughs> hey. They do their job. Those cats do their job. So, but anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry. So I took a break today from uh, doing gravel work. Uh, my body says, okay, you've been doing it for three days in a row. Um, that's enough for today. So I decided I was going to take a chill day on that, and I have not been moving any stone today. But I did, um, I don't know if I showed you the completed version of this. But here's the completed version of this all done. And uh, I know I do want to add maybe eh, maybe a couple more wheelbarrows through the center part there. But uh, that, that's much better. Um, that is much, much better. So anyway, um, let's see. Oh, so somebody had asked me, did we harvest our grapes? Um, yes, we did. We harvest our grapes. And uh, they were actually really good. So I'm sorry I didn't show that in video and show you guys that. But uh, we definitely uh, got our harvest in and took care of that situation. And uh, I do want to uh, expand that more. Uh, so I may uh, do another row of grapes as well. Um, I'm not sure. We'll, fit, we'll have to figure that all out. Uh, maybe I'll actually throw another row uh, closer up and through here or something. I'm, I'm not sure yet. We'll figure all that out when the time comes. But anyway, getting back to the topic here, guys. If there is a disruption with the production of getting these medications, um, that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. So here's a question, a ponderance question. What is going on in China right now that is causing them to have these kind of issues when it comes to getting the medications made. Um, I know that there are, they shut down a bunch of the mines for, uh, the, and I can't remember the name of what it was, but it's something that we need um, that basically is in China, but really not anywhere else. They do like 80% of the production of it in the world, and they cr close down like 41 of 60 something mines. I think China's having some serious issues over there right now, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, you know, I have no factual evidence to back that up, but it seems like there is something going on in China uh, with their population, and uh, I'm curious if it has to do with uh, the situation in the world, because obviously China has not been very forthcoming with numbers uh, and, you know, in being honest with everything overall but again and i will say this in defense of china um not none of the countries have been honest with any numbers either uh inflating them or deflating them depending on what they're trying to put out there uh, if they're trying to show strength or weakness so those are things that people do need to realize that that happens all the time so uh, that's something to think about, but is there something going on where they're having an issue over there? And, uh, you know, uh, I know that uh, they have, you know, quarantined a uh, tremendous amount of people, full cities over there already in the past. Um, and it wouldn't shock me if those type of situations were going on again. 
um, over there. They would never let any of the rest of us know because, again, that would show weakness on their part. So I find that to be fascinating. I find it to be quite interesting. And uh, But just something to think about. And there's Mr. Luce. Hey, baby boy. What you doing? Yeah, hey, it's a good boy. I love it when he does that. You want to go in? Come on. Come on, baby. So it's obviously chilly for the cats. So they are spending more time um, inside. See him look back to make sure I was coming. You gonna let me in? Yes, baby, I'm letting you in. Go on in. All right. And the puppies are in. Um, I'm not leaving them out uh, for long periods now because of the fact that it is much colder. And so they're, we could put them out for a little while and then they come back in. And uh, so that's that time of year. That's what we do for that, but uh, no, there's still I still have plenty to do here. Uh, I just needed a day to uh, to recover a little bit, um, and then I'm going to get back at it. I have I'll show you actually too another thing really quickly. So we will go in here for a moment into the greenhouse. Uh, Now, I think we were at about 28 degrees um, this morning, so it was definitely chilly uh, this morning. But I wanted to show you, so we've been getting the kindling ready. So as we have harvested, uh, you know, cleaning up the tomatoes and the peppers and all that type of stuff, empty the buckets out, and then they've been filling them up, uh, Mom and Becky have, with the kindling wood. But this here is the furring strips I was talking about. Uh, for the outside um, of the greenhouse and so mom has still have more has more to paint but she did these ones here and so like these ones here on the end that she didn't see because it was broken <laughs> so that will be that will be cut off so I just snap right off of there so I told her I said just don't, if it's split on the end don't worry about the end so that's why She's only done up to some of them to a certain point, and then I'll just cut them off and I'll utilize them as I go. But uh, we still have peppers here, as you can see, um, and uh, the tomatoes are pretty much done now. So we're going to take a day here soon and come in and clean out the rest of these. But I'm going to tell you what, being in New York and being in November and having it, you know, uh, we had a good old hard frost this morning. It was, you know, we've had... Um, frost already up here but it was like maybe 28 degrees this morning so it was definitely chilly um, this morning when uh, I got up and put the dogs out this morning but uh, so these are still mostly alive <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be getting rid of the rest of these and then we'll take these buckets um, and all these buckets have the holes in them like I will show you over here uh, we have some of these buckets over here like these two here that were used for, that mom had taken them out of uh, the greenhouse, and those are regular buckets with no holes in them. And I had gotten them because I wanted to use them for storage. And so, uh, you know, she was like, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, well, that happens. But uh, so anyway, the ones with the holes, I like to use those um, in case they get wet or water gets in them, the water will just come right back out. And that's why I like to utilize, um, it's making sure, and then in the spring we'll add the, use, use the buckets again to get starter plants going again in here. we got to clean up in here anyway. Uh, some of this camping equipment has to go over into uh, Margie's shed. Um, this, believe it or not, it says heavy, but it's only about 20 pounds. That's the wood stove that I will be showing you. Um, I did tell you guys I picked up a backup generator uh, because I took my other backup generator down to West Virginia. So uh, I'm like, I didn't want to be caught without having a backup. My other generator is running fine, but again, I like uh, having the options of having something else as well. So kind of a mess in here as well. It's, it ends up being a catch-all. And so that has to get a little more organized, which we will do that as well. But, uh, you know, we can do that at any point in time, um, you know, so. 
But anyway, so that's what is happening. So the flowers are still going here in that plant right there, as you can see. So anyway, I do want to hear your feedback on this. What do you think, um, kind of breaking news with uh, this information um, that has come to me? I, I don't think I've seen it on the regular news yet. Um, but this information comes directly from a doctor. So uh, definitely something to be paying attention to. Uh, information that is being put out there, certain things are going to be told to us, certain things are not going to be told. And this is one of those things that uh, I think is important and uh, we should be paying attention to. So, very interesting. It's my opinion, of course, you know, but uh, I, I find it fascinating. But uh, something to think about and uh, interesting, interesting stuff happening around the world. But what is the cause and effect? Why are things happening the way that they're happening? And I think there's a lot more going on than we're being privy to. So I definitely want to hear your feedback. Uh, also, guys, um, again, I will be live streaming tonight uh, at, at uh, 8 p.m. So I would ask you to join me then. So I'm going to jump off of here for now. Uh, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, which is really important, and people need to realize that. Also remember uh, to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. Uh, we never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important. We tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do in life, you can do it. The only person that can stop you from reaching those goals is you. That's, that's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I hope everybody's doing great again. Uh, I will see you all tonight. And like I said, I definitely want to hear your feedback, your thoughts on this uh, topic. All right? I will see you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.